What's going on everyone, it's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. First off, shout out to Subcase for sending this case over for me to try out on the channel. I truly appreciate it. Let's do this! Spectacular Gadgets. The case right here is a full body dual layer case that has a built in screen protector, a kickstand, and an S pen slot. If you are interested in this case, it will cost you about $99 on Amazon. Now, if you get the black color, that's going to be $99.99, and all three other colors will cost you about $102. Those colors consist of golden, which is kind of like an army green color. Then you have ruddy, which is like a red color. And then lastly, you have the color tilt, which is a nice looking blue color. Taking a closer look at the case inside here, this area here is soft for the back of the Z Fold 4 so you don't get it all scratched up. And then here's a closer look at the back of the case. And although this is not my favorite color, this is actually a nice looking color. What do you guys think? And the detail that they put on the hinge, it looks really nice and rugged. So again, you do get a built-in screen protector as you see here, go ahead and pull the plastic off. It does reveal the installed adhesive strip as you see there. I am starting with the front part of the case. I'm using the sides of the device, like the corners, to go ahead and place the front piece of the case on now that I have it on. Just make sure when you're placing this case on that you're using the corners and try not to press on the screen. So the last part, which is the back part of the case, doing the same thing. And it's very easy to put on. And as you see, just like that, all my corners are set and it's good to go. Take a look at the screen protection you get with the inside display. The case comes up, so you have some protection there if you have it face down with it open. One of my favorite tools with the Z Fold 4 is the S Pen. And this case has an S Pen holder. You just open up the hinge and you can go ahead and place the S Pen in. And I believe it can go either way, upside down or right side up. And there you have it. And this little hole lets you know, hey, you have your S Pen. The large opening for the power button slash fingerprint sensor makes it very easy to access. Taking a look at the back of the case, more so focusing on the camera protection, you see that the case does come up, so it does give you some camera protection in case you happen to drop it. This case has several different tricks up its sleeves and the kickstand is one of them. This kickstand can be used with the device open or closed, and it has a few different positions you can use it in. Due to this case having hinge protection, you will not be able to lay the device flat on a surface when it is open. If this bothers you, go ahead and check out their non-pro version of this case. It doesn't have a hinge protection and it will lay flat when you have it open. Something that I do is use the hinge to hold onto it when I have the device open. B 
being able to use the kickstand, whether I have the device open or have it closed is a game changer for me. It's just nice being able to watch things. If I want to watch something or show someone something, I don't have to necessarily have to prop it up on things. So this just makes things much more convenient. Removing the S pin is just as easy. Go ahead and open the hinge and poke your finger through the hole and it will release the S pin. Now a cool thing about the hinge protection is you don't necessarily need to use the kickstand but you can actually just rest the device on the hinge protection and you have a nice angle. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.